Hey friends, it's Marilyn from tarotclarity.com and I decided I had to do another video to get my head out of that space that it's been preoccupied by. Um, I'm in an unhealthy space because it's all I want to do. <laughs> you know, it's, it's like I just want to watch the feeds. Um, I, uh, I, I've got to break that pattern of thought. And so I thought today would be a good day to do the newest deck that I bought. Yes, I'm slowly coming off the moratorium. I bought a few in succession here, but it's probably not going to happen that often. But I, I just, I just said what the hey, and I bought this deck. Now this was not a, an extremely expensive deck. Um, I don't think it was. It was, well, I don't know what it was, but uh, at any rate, it's from um, Deviant Moon Inc. And although I don't tip, I do buy playing cards from different, you know, and I do collect playing cards, but I don't typically collect Oracle, or I don't think I even have any other Oracle cards except for things like Lenormand, maybe. I have a few Lenormand cards, and um, but I don't have it, I don't think any decks that are called Oracle. But I saw this one. It's called the Zammer Twins Oracle. And I uh, I couldn't resist because I thought I, I was attracted to the art. Now, regrettably, the box came kind of messed up. And one of the cards that's loose, the postcard, is kind of bent up. However, the booklet is in fine condition. And the deck itself looks like it's pretty well wrapped. So I'm going to uh, reverse the camera. And we're going to take a nice look at this deck just for fun and to uh, distract me and put me in a better frame of reference and uh, just break the pattern of my, my thinking. The, the box is a regular tuck box. It's sealed. It's, it's got the Zammer, the Zammer Twins Oracle Edition 2 because there was a first edition which I missed out on. By Deviant Moon. Here's the back. Created in 2023 by Patrick Valenza. So let me unseal the, 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 the deck and we'll reverse the camera and we'll take a look. All right, here we have it. Another sealed. Okay, let me go off camera and break that seal. Okay, now I did notice that in the book, you know how in some historic tarot decks, for example, you'll get, or even some fantasy decks, you'll get the book. And before it goes into each of the cards, it'll give you a history uh, or a fantastic history of, of, of the supposed story. But that is not the case here. We just have title page and then we have the meanings of each of the cards it's a nice uh, it's a nice booklet it's in color and here we have the Zammer twins Oracle presumably a product originally from 1767 So that is the date chosen to portray this deck. Um, all artwork by Patrick Valenza. Now I'm presenting it in the order the cards are in. Okay, this says on the back, Carl and Otto Zammer, 1767. So perhaps this is part of the history of the deck, right? The supposed his history. So they're twins wearing different colored breeches. One has a patch. And this is the order that the cards come in. Oh, look at the beautiful backs. So here we have the drummer, 
a skeleton making noise. Now I think when I purchased this deck, when I started seeing some of the cards, I was connecting some of them to tarot cards. And so I think I was looking at it from a tarot, tarot reader's perspective, right? So I think uh, obviously, you know, okay, we have a, a, a taste of death in this one, but also of the fool, like a combination of the two. You know, we have a history of the, the fool being a, a noisemaker in some of the earlier decks, I think the Minkiati, right? Um, so we have a little bit of that, but then we also have a taste of the, of, of the, of the death card in the drummer. And the acrobat, I thought of the hanged one, because in some decks, you know, um, the hanged one is sometimes portrayed as an acrobat. Redemption, this could be judgment, a similarity to judgment. And it could be my mistake to, you know, see these from the lens of a tarot reader. Um, I haven't looked at the meanings of the cards Maybe after I give my, you know, assessment, maybe I'll go back and we'll, and we can look at some of those cards in the book to see. The hag, ooh. And she's got she's got a little devil there. Maybe she's a little bit of a temptress. Number four. Omniscious, omniscious. Um, could be a little bit of the Jupiter, you know, Pope thing going on. Maybe the star card. The buffoon. And that would maybe also play into the fool a little bit. The harpy. Hmm. Look at that. The butcher. Tree of life. The doctor. The doctor. Guy's missing a foot. Probably in those days, I think dentists were given authority to act as doctors. <laughs> Levithian, Levith Le Leviathan, excuse me. I have to look into that. Leviathan, let's see. Number 12. Those like sacks. Are those egg sacks? Chaos. He's playing a lobster violin. <laughs> the wound man. Hmm. Kind of like a voodoo guy, you know, or a sacrificial effigy. We've seen uh, Blind Maya, Blem Mai, Blem Ye. We've seen this kind of representation, I think, in, in Hieronymus Bosch work. So I think the similarities with tarot sort of end it rather quickly. Matrimonial. I, no sooner do I say that than we have a card that could resemble the lovers in matrimony. And the chariot. Oh my goodness. It's kind of constructed like the chariot with the canopy and with a rail or whatever, but then obviously it departs greatly because we have a couple in bed with the devil. So this is more like of a lust, a lusty thing. 
but my first impression was the devil in a chariot. <laughs> the temple? Perhaps a obvious or not so obvious reference to the tower. But as I just recently said, I think I have to take it outside of tarot terms because I think it, you know the point of it is to be an oracle unto itself. And of course, um, oh, the mandrake. Of course, you know um, certain truths or realities or um, concepts overlap, right? They overlap in in different oracles. You know, and, and tarot being an oracle, right? We might see some similarities sometimes when we read something from Lenormand. I mean, the, the way the cards are interpreted are, are quite differently, quite different, but we can see the same concepts expressed. And so I don't think it's all that unusual to perhaps see some concepts expressed that are similar in this. Mercurius. You know, it's kind of like the world card, the old Italian world cards, where the image of the world is in, contained in a, a globe of a successful city. But here we have somebody thinking about it, thinking about utopia. And I think maybe um, what I should have been doing is also looking at the order to see what card trumps what card in this deck. We have the drunkard who follows Leia. Leia, we don't know. I have to look up what that means. Let's look up Leia. She's number 28. And let's just see what it says. Okay, bound by love's web, the dark beauty Layla stands detained from happiness. Branches with small pink blossoms emerge from her body, forming the shape of a heart around her. Spiders build faint traps on the limbs, hoping to lure unsuspecting victims to their demise. Upright, a femme fatale, unrequited love, a jilted lover, someone who may be lovesick or stuck in a bad relationship. A loveless romance, empty promises, seduction. And it appears as though these cards have reversed meanings, realizing you have the strength to break free from a bad situation, getting over heartbreak, seeing through the seductive charms of another. Okay, so that's this card. Let's just see what follows it. The Trunkard. And let's just see if number 29 is a logical sequence to Layla. What was her name? Layla? Layla. Okay, the drunkard. Shamed and ridiculed by the villagers, a drunken old man parades through the town square wearing an old white barrel. Although he may feel disgraced now, he will more than likely pick up a fresh full bottle as soon as he's set free. The upright meaning Humiliation and embarrassment, a scandal, guilt, bad reputation, being made a mockery, an outcast, addiction, lack of self-control, and self-destruction. Reversed meaning, changing one's ways for the better, breaking the cycle of addiction. A time to help someone in need, reclaiming one's honor, hiding one's destructive behavior from others. So in a way, this card kind of reminds me a little bit of like a Bacchanal card, right? For when we had... Um, uh, the you know Juno and Jupiter replaced in the best and son it was well excuse me the Pope the female Pope and the Pope rep, you know changed in the best and son to um, uh, that Juno and Jupiter and then yet in another on other decks another Germanic deck um, uh, that Juno was then in turn or or the female Pope was then in turn to uh, the Spanish captain or the French captain and then the Pope. Uh, Jupiter card was the Bacchus card, or you know, um, you know the, you know the, the drinker, you know, or the 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 uh, 
I forget what it was called, but the Bacchanal or the, the Bacchus card. So it's kind of similar. It's a, it's a uh, interesting play on a variation of a tarot deck. The ladder ascending. Sophia. Pegri. Homunculus. So I most certainly have to read the book and see what the intended references are, the retended, you know, the intended references and the intended meanings of the cards are. It doesn't mean I might not come up with my own. I may not ever use this deck, but um, I'd like to know the frame of reference. The count and look at his clothes are like muscles. Very clever. Oh my goodness. <laughs> oh my. <laughs> Alrighty then. Kind of like a hermit, right? Although not a wandering hermit, more of, of a recluse hermit. More of the, a hermit in the traditional sense. So this is interesting. One scornful woman behind piety. I'm not sure what she's what she's giving the feeling of. Maybe he's trying to be pious, but he's got a wife <laughs> who's onto him. But he's thinking of this fair one. Maybe that's what it is. I got to see what this one is. Number 43. Okay. A pious man stands with hands clasped in prayer. Over his shoulders look visions of his longtime wife ah, and his youthful housemaid. I wasn't quite, I wasn't too far off. He solemnly pleads for heaven's guidance to help him stay on the righteous path and not succumb to temptation. So I, I think I did a pretty good job reading that one, huh? Upright meaning, devotion, loyalty, relig religiosity, respect, keeping a sacred vow or promise, choosing to do what's right. The reverse meaning, faithlessness, dishonor, atheism, a liar. Disrespect, making the wrong choice, acting on impulse. Oh, that's so pretty. So we have a little, you know, a little bit of the star card because we have the star. We have a woman by water, right? Um, but of course, we don't see the moon, but of course, it's kind of an evening scene. So, oh, the old devil. And we see familiar faces in the kneecaps. Purgation. Chop away that sinful thought. <laughs> Domination. Perhaps a hint of the, the, the fortitude card. Um, the 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 good and bad angel on your shoulder kind of idea like fight the fight the impulse right but i don't know i have to read the card the book the rebus but when i do videos i except for maybe getting general information like location if it's a tarot deck or the time or whatever if it's a deck like this i kind of like the cards to to kind of speak for themselves before I look into it. I, I kind of like to get what I feel first and then um, and then get an idea of what the intention is. But the cards will always speak to you no matter what 
intent was put into the cards, right? We're the diviners. We're the ones who interpret the cards. So there's that. So here we have like a volcano erupting. And this knight saving a sacred child. And the Ouroboros. It goes to 50. So there are 50 cards. I think the first card was numbered. I don't think it's a zero. Ah, oh, maybe it was. The drummer, oh no, number one. So there are 50 cards in this, plus a extra card, presumably of the Zammer Twins of 1767. So there we have it. Let's see, cardstock. Um, cardstock has a little bit of a shine. It's not high gloss. But there is a sheen, but it's nice. It's got a waxy feel. I think the cards will definitely glide. Squared corners, which is interesting for an oracle. Oh, look at that. Look at how this card moves, this deck moves. Nicely made. Nice card stock, real nice. Wow. Now let me see if I can do a shuffle. So there aren't as many cards, so... Um, it's probably similar in thickness to a deck of playing cards, although I think it might be even thinner. Well, playing cards would have 52, but I think the cards are not as substantial, as, as thick as a standard deck of playing cards might be. Okay, I mean, I haven't shuffled it enough to get them out of sequence. Um, but my intent will be based on the shuffling that I have done so far. What is a message for all of us today? What is, let me just do three of these. What is a message for all of us to take away today. Tree of Life. The Mermaid. The Rebus. And I'm not going to do an interpretation. Um, I'm just gonna I'm gonna go off camera and then meditate on these for myself because I need to know where my head needs to go, <laughs> or just the message that I need to hear. But before I you know sign off, I, I do want to mention um, to look at the the numbers. You know, I, I'm presuming that the numbers are not random, so they were chosen, right? And I don't know if with Oracle cards, if you do anything with numerology, but being a tarot person, and I do, I might I might take the liberties of interpreting this deck the way I feel I want to. I don't see any directions in this, in this deck at all. So there's nothing that says, this is how you read an Oracle deck, or this is how you read this Oracle deck. So I'm assuming that I have the liberty to interpret this deck in the way I see fit, which I will. So here are the cards. I think my question was collective. What should what message should we walk away from this with? And I'm going to take it as a personal one as well. So we have the tree of life, whatever that means to us. The mermaid. And then the rebus. I hope this has been a fun diversion. Until next time, friends, peace and stay well.